Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. Today I want to show you guys the Solid Verify accuracy that you guys can change inside your Solid Verify. Um, in here you can go and specify a certain accuracy to get a better looking model for your Solid Verify. So the accuracy does not affect the G-code in any which way, um, does not affect cycle time or anything like that. It is just for a visual inside your Solid Verify. So I have this one set to 10 thou currently. And if I kind of zoom in here on even like this hole, you can see we're kind of faceted going around here, um, get a side view. You can see our chamfer going around the outside doesn't look as good as what it should. Um, so if you guys go to your settings right inside your solid verify go to accuracy and tighten that accuracy down so we'll just do uh, one thou for right now we'll hit okay and let's go ahead and play this through again and now that this has been played through with the one thou you can see our chamfer line looks much more even going all the way through if we get a top-down view our holes are nice and circular like they're supposed to be, our model is much more crisp and cleaner and more accurate. Um, like I said, the accuracy does not affect anything with the G-code. It's just for the visual part of the solid verify. Um, but two things just to kind of remember is the tighter that you go with that accuracy, the longer it is going to take to play through on your solid verify. Uh, but on the benefit side, you'll see all the little details that you need to see. Now, if you guys are taking it's taking too long to run through in that solid verify, open up that accuracy by just like I said, come up here, go to your accuracy and switch that to a larger number and your uh, simulation will play through much faster. So just kind of want to show you guys that tip for today and check back for tomorrow for the uh, another new tip of the day for you guys. Thanks guys. Have a good one.